At the 2019 National Ham Fest in Newark, I encountered a company called Seacom that I'd never heard of before, and it turns out it's a reasonably new enterprise run uh, by a gentleman named uh, Mike, or Mick I believe, supported by his wife. And at the ham fest they were selling dipoles and j-poles for 6 metres, 4 metres and 2 metres. But I found them online uh, on eBay and I'll put a link into uh, the description for this video. And they also sell antennas for other bands as well, including one for the VHF FM broadcast band, Band 2. So I went for the plunge and ordered it. It came to about £30 from memory, of which roughly 25 was for the antenna and the other 5 was for postage and packing. I only ordered it a couple of days ago and it's already arrived in this tube, uh, which measures 90 centimetres long. And it is certainly very sturdily packed. I don't think much is going to get through that. So I'm going to open the tube, install the antenna up in the VHF UHF antenna farm in the attic, and then I put my ICOM IC7100 on the end and see how it performs at the moment for listening on FM broadcast. I use my 2 meter 70 centimeter collinear, uh, which works surprisingly well actually. I've even heard Algeria on that during the uh, sporadic E season a couple of summers ago. So obviously this antenna is going to be resonant, unlike my collinear, but uh, I'll be interested to see how it performs and uh, how well constructed it is. Uh, based on the antennas I saw at Newark, I have high expectations here. Okay, so several minutes later, I've got in through all the sellotape and the bubble wrap, and this is what it looks like. Not just amateur radio antennas, of course, they do antennas for... I think they do one for the air band as well. So this is what it looks like, and there's the mast that you can use to offset it from the, oh you know what I mean don't you, and it comes with instructions. Now I'm going to be using this purely as a receive antenna, and it suggests in the instructions that you go for a mid freight frequency of 97.8, which is slap bang in the middle of the broadcast band. but if you get your magnifying glass out here it gives you um, millimetric measurements for each individual frequency within the broadcast band and if you had a license to actually stick RF into this thing on uh, band 2 it will handle up to a kilowatt which doesn't entirely surprise me seeing uh, as how sturdy and well made it is um, so I'm a bit surprised at that, but yes, you could, in theory, use this for transmitting through up to a kilowatt, blimey, be lucky. Um, <laughs> I've never done anything like that, of course, uh, goes without saying. So under flat conditions, the two weakest stations that I can receive through the collinear are probably one Brighton FM on 101.4. The signal's there, but it's noisy. Um, the other one is platform B, also from Brighton, on 101.5, which is barely audible. And also 103.1 was in Victor from Kent these days, Hart. And again it's there but it's noisy. So now the dipole is in place, vertically polarised. Everything else is the same, so this is one Brighton FM.
Platform B now very audible. And uh, Heart FM Kent in Victor, still about the same, but that's very weak anyway. So everything else is the same, same length of RG213 running to the radio. And uh, I know this isn't really comparing apples with apples, but uh, that is on that frequency, that is a huge difference. So overall, very well packaged, very well constructed, sturdy, very clear instructions it comes with. And uh, this is going to be really good for uh, listening when there's tropo or sporadic E conditions. Because quite often, if there's going to be an opening on two metres, the first uh, clue that I get is when stations start appearing on the FM broadcast band that aren't normally there. Um, in my location near Littlehampton on the West Sussex coast nothing there at the moment but France Musique on 95.6 from Cannes is always the first station to appear when conditions are up and uh, the last to disappear and it's also one of the strongest as well so uh, this antenna could be really useful for helping me to uh, predict um, openings on the two meter band and uh, I enjoy, I was into uh, shortwave listening FM broadcast long before I got my amateur radio license and I think this dipole is going to work very very well and I also know from what I saw at the show that the, the quality of the workmanship here is, uh, is representative of all their antennas so big thumbs up to Seacom, they uh, deserve to do well <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>